Let's get started by opening up a new Xcode project. Once the project opens, you'll see the screen that allows you to choose a template for your new project. Select tvOS from the navigation bar and then select app. Then hit next to continue to the project option. You'll need a product name, so we'll give our test app the product name Matt Loves TV App. This can be changed at any time. Now make sure the right team is selected for signing and create an organization identifier. You want to start with com dot and then kind of create a unique name for your specific app. You want to make sure that your interface is set as storyboard, lifecycle as UI app delegate, and then your language as Swift. Double check your options and then hit next to continue. Choose where you want to save your app. It can be in a folder or external hard drive and hit create to continue to your app. Once the project has loaded, the first thing you want to do is go in and edit your display name. The display name is the name that end users will see when they look at your app on their Apple TV. We'll use Matt Loves TV app as our display name. Now navigate to the main.storyboard to add components like a button to your app. You want to be patient here and just give it some time because the storyboard is notorious for long loading times, especially as you add more and more screens and more components. Once the storyboard is loaded, go ahead and select the background color on the right side of your screen. As you can see, I'm selecting green as the background color of the Matt Loves TV app. Now let's add a button. Hit the plus button in the top right of the screen to pull up the options for components we can drag onto the screen. Select button, then simply drag it onto the screen. Double click the button text and then you can actually edit it. If you're having trouble, make sure the button is selected from the view controller scene and then check the right hand side of your screen for the text. As you can see, I've just changed the text of this button to Matt Loves TV. We've changed the background color, we've changed the text. Only thing left now is to actually run it on a real life Apple TV. Make sure Apple TV is connected to Xcode and then in the top left of the screen, you'll hit the play button, which will initiate the build and then install of this application onto your Apple TV. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a video detailing exactly how to connect Xcode to your Apple TV. Yes, our build has succeeded. Now let's go check it out on an actual Apple TV. Navigate to the app that you just deployed and then open it and you'll see the app that you just built. Thank you so much for watching. Um, appreciate the support. And if you're following along, you came a long way and built an Apple TV app from scratch and deployed it onto your actual Apple TV. Thanks again and continue to subscribe and watch for great content. Matt Loves Tech, signing off.